but I keep having to help you with this every single year. What are the elves even doing in the North Pole? Are they being productive? I understand, Santa, I understand. I, I will do my part, absolutely 100%. Thank you. Welcome to What's in My Kit Stockings 2021. Cannot believe this year is almost over. Like, what is going on? So I will show you guys all of my kit stockings. I have six kids. Uh, one of them, my oldest, is not going to be included in this. She's going to her dad's for Christmas. So we just have the five youngest. We have four boys. And then our youngest is also a girl. So we are going to go over everything that we got. I will share the ages and all of that as we're going in. So these are their stockings that we have. I can't remember where we got them from, but we always get questions about the stockings. So these are just basically it. Super cute. It has their name embroidered on it. So Lex, that's Danielle. That was just kind of included. We're, we're still hanging her stocking. Um, Noah, Lonnie, and then Liam. Every year with stocking stuffers, they just kind of pile up. And then when I go to really go over them for this video, I realize that maybe one child didn't get as much as the other. So um, there is going to be a few things I'm going to have to pick up. So before going over each individual child, I'm going to go over the things that are kind of like group, like we're going to break it up or something like that. So we got ring pops. This is a tradition. This is a tradition. Comment below any Christmas traditions that you have. I love hearing them. It's also how I get ideas too. So I learned from you guys too. This is some Pop Rocks candy cane flavored. Um, there's three packs in this. We got some, some cotton candy, which works perfect. Six for six kids. I'll eat Danielle's. All right, so we got four, uh, four Starbucks cards. So this is gonna be for the four oldest that are gonna be here for Christmas. Each of them are getting a $10 Starbucks card. We got some hot cocoa bombs. I thought these are so cute and so much fun. Some coal, I do this every, I do this every year. Just some peppermint kisses. So we are going to start with the oldest, I think. And that is Lonnie Jr. He is my almost 16 year old. He will be 16 by Christmas. He's the one that I probably need to pick up a few things for, but it's also because we have this basket that we're giving him for Christmas. And if you haven't seen what I got my kids for Christmas, I will link it up there. I'll put it in the description. Um, but I bought, I got him like a gift box kind of thing. And so a lot of the smaller things that I would have used for stocking stuffers is going in that box. So I'm going to have to pick up some extra things, but some things he got is some lip balm. He loves lip balm and we got them in different different flavors there. We live in the mountains of Colorado so it gets really dry air here. We got him some Skittles because he loves candy. Loves candy. And then we also got him a little million dollar chocolate bar. We got this at Hobby Lobby. Anything that I got from Amazon I will link below but obviously a lot of these things are just from the store. Um, I also got him a set of Pokemon cards. He collects Pokemon cards. He's been collecting them since he was seven or eight. He is like almost a thousand cards. So every Christmas we get him, we get him some Pokemon cards. I also got him a peppermint bar of soap. It did have a little, a little like a uh, cotton ball kind of thing for like the nose, but it fell off. So we got him some peppermint, peppermint white chocolate yummy ones. It comes in a pack of two. So he loves it. It's like white chocolate and peppermint. We did get him a steam card. He is a kid that plays steam. We got him a little, a little summer sausage cheese, cheese thing. And this came from Walmart. All right. So next is Noah. He is my 14 year old. So he isn't as into candy, so he didn't get as many, but he did get this um, soft brush. So we are working more on self care skills. Now, if you are new to our channel, some of these things may seem odd. We are a special needs family. Our four youngest are autistic. So some of these may be a little bit off place. I feel like it's still a good a good gift idea for, for stocking stuffers. But if you're kind of like, what? You put a brush in a 14 year old stocking? He's gonna love that. So we got him another one of the little bottle things. This is a sensory, sensory putty, which it just means that it smells good. It smells like gingerbread. So I think he will like this a lot. We'll see. He isn't a huge sensory seeker, but sometimes he does like playing with things like that. And we were trying to give him things that can help him self-regulate. So I feel like if he can just like fidget with putty sometimes that that might be very helpful to him. We got him two pairs of socks for his stocking, Scooby-Doo, which is one of his favorites. 
and then Pikachu. He loves Elf on the Shelf, so we got him a a chocolate one. We also got him some card games. So he plays uh, cards a lot with us and with therapy, but he is kind of running out of board games and cards. So we've been trying to kind of make that a focus this Christmas. So we got some family feud cards and some dill or no dill. I love card games. I love board games. So I'm really excited to try these out with him. Then we also got him his own little own, his little own pop-ups. So this is Star Wars, which he likes. He got a PS4 and he's gonna start playing some more Fortnite. So we got him some V-Bucks. All right, so next is Alexander. He is my six-year-old. I went kind of crazy on the stocking stuffers too. So some of these things are gonna have to be taken out of the package, but <laughs> this is a huge, huge lollipop. It actually has 15 inside. So it's not just one big one. I think it's just exciting. It's like big and just exciting for a child. So that's what we got. He loves these Kinder Joy eggs still. So we got him two last year. I think he got six packs and it was just, it was too much. It was too much. We got him some hot chocolate. This is gonna be for him because the other ones are gonna be for the other kiddos. I think it's, I'm gonna split it between our 14 and 16 year old. But we have that one for him. Lots of candy things like these little Bottle Pop Christmas. A lot of the candy we got from Walmart. Um, we got this from Target, Ryan's World. He's been asking for a surprise one. So we were like, you know, let's do it as a stocking stuffer. He's been really into Captain America. So this is super cool. It has a little, like three lollipop. I just realized that this was lollipops. He's gonna have a lot of lollipops for Christmas. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Got a <laughs> Mickey Popper Fidget. I don't even know where I got this from. Oh, I do, okay. It is $3.99 at either like Burlington, Marshall, Draw, something like that. Um, he has been really getting into taking colored baths. <laughs> and bath time is really hard for him. He does have a lot of sensory issues. So this is kind of just something extra to encourage it. He is really into Roblox. So we got him a $25 Roblox card. And then we also got some putty. We got this from Target. I think it was $3, but it's clay. So we figured that would be fun for him. So we actually found this at the grocery store. <laughs> the weirdest thing. And it's basically a monster truck that like crushes the one beneath. I think we're probably gonna have to take this out because I don't think all of this is going to be fitting in all that little bitty socking. So next we have Liam. Liam is my almost four year old. And we got the we got these as well. Honestly, he'll probably be sharing with others. It's a lot of lollipops, but it was just so cute. So I had to get it. Liam has been really into Mario. So we got him some Mario things, little Mario figurines, cause he's also been really into like playing with little figurines. He loves bath time with his sister. So we got him some Play-Doh for the bath. Um, it's basically a moldable soap and storage bucket. So you actually like use the Play-Doh, but then the Play-Doh is soap. <laughs> it was such a cool concept. I've never tried anything like this, so it may be a bust, but we'll see. I did get it from Target, but this was the last one. So if you're wanting it, I'd hurry up and go. Got some, got some more poppers. I feel like all the kids love these. Like these are just so much fun. I enjoy playing with them too. Santa, I want one in my stocking. Liam also loves dinosaurs. So he got a little dinosaur, Christmas dinosaur. The speech therapist used to have one of these and we have a different speech therapist now because she got promoted. So we figured this would be really fun for them to be able to like squeeze it and and make that work we got a paw patrol little surprise a super mario car this is a dinosaur bath bomb i did get it from amazon so i will link it below it dissolves and then a dinosaur's inside so i figured that would be so much fun for him got some bathtub finger paint paw patrol and bottle pop another one of those i feel like liam got way more than lex this is hard guys, this is really hard. He loves bath time, I also got him one of these. I guess it's not that much. It's not that much, it's just like bigger items. I may end up wrapping this if it's just, if it's not gonna fit basically. I did also get this for him as well, but this was one of the first stocking stuffers we got and I decided to just wrap it as a gift. All right, so that's it for Liam. Liam and Nelly are not getting any gift cards. Um, Lex, Noah, and Lonnie Jr. are. So the last child is Penelope. She is my almost three year old. 
and she really didn't get much candy. She will get a little bit, but she's just not very into it. She is still young and she has low muscle tone in her cheeks. So like swallowing, she's still a choking risk. So that's why we're kind of careful on what she's getting. But because of that, she got lots of other things. Some might say too many things, but you know what? That is, that's a matter of opinion. I think I will wrap this. I will wrap this. This, I don't know where this came from. I think that came from Target. We got these at Hobby Lobby. They were $2.99, $2.99. And they're basically just stickers of unicorns. We were trying to look for My Little Pony stickers, but they were overly priced on Amazon or out of stock at other stores. She loves stickers too. So she loves ponies and horses and things like that, but she also loves stickers and that's her thing. She loves coloring too. So we got her a My Little Pony Messy Free activity pad. We actually bought this as a Christmas gift and guys, I thought it was a lot bigger than that, a, lo a lot bigger than this. We got her a Minnie Mouse collectible, some chapstick because you know, that's what the two-year-old needs is chapstick. And we got her brush. We're always losing brushes and this is so cute. I just thought this was so cute. So it's gonna be her official brush. She uh, loves stemming, like, and if you don't know what stemming is, because I know not everyone is familiar with autism, but it's basically where she goes like this. She loves it, so we got these for her. She can also wear them as bracelets or hairbands, but very, very cute. We actually got them at... I wanna say Burlington for $2.99. They actually came from the children's place for $8.95. So great deal on them. And that's the thing, a lot of these things were super duper cheap and they just kind of started piling up. Um, I did get her some nail polish. This is like the toxic free kind of nail polish, like the kids first nail polish. So I'm really excited to try and, <laughs> and see how this works. This may be a disaster, we'll see. We got a bath bomb, a princess bath bomb pink finger paint because again usually her and Liam because they're only 12 months apart they do do a lot of things together so they share a room they take baths together and all that thing so we try to get things that they'll both enjoy um got some got some cute little shampoo I think I got this from Burlington too look we go to Burlington and Marshalls a lot a lot um got some My Little Pony Pez so cute $3.99 at Burlington a little bit bigger than I was thinking it would be, but this was on Amazon. I figured these would be perfect for her. They're super soft. She loves soft things because she's also visually impaired. I think there's eight, one, two, three, four, five. No, there's 10 for $4.99 and they can go on her wrist. They She can just use them to stem because right now she uses socks to stem um, or they can go in her hair. I mean, these are definitely, definitely versatile. Got her own, her own little chocolate coins. They're so Oh, they're so cute. So she won't get any of the coals. Like this will be hers. All right. So this is her My Little Pony stuffed animal. And then this, <laughs> the things I buy, the things I buy. So this is a little flower princess. And in the sun, it changes colors, which is kind of cool, but she's going to care less about it. This was a this was a mom buy. So that is it. Again, if anything was bought from Amazon, very few was, but if there is anything on here, I will link it below. If you are wanting to watch the full video of what I got my kids for Christmas, it's a really, really long video. It's a lot of gifts, but I kind of go over it like I did here. That is it. I'm going to be looking for some stuff for Lonnie Jr. and trying to trying to fill up his stocking a little bit more. It's gonna be interesting to see if this actually all fits in the stocking or not. So we, we used to have some other stockings that were more stretchy, but these aren't, these don't stretch, these don't stretch very well. We'll just make it work, okay? We'll make it work, but thank you for watching. Please feel free to hit the red subscribe button. We are doing Vlogmas. I asked Lonnie if he wanted to, and he said he is all in for Vlogmas, so we're going to attempt this as much as we can, as much as we can. I will be posting the wrap with me video, hopefully on Monday. It takes a really long time to edit. There's a lot of gifts, so hopefully I can have that up for you guys, but we would love for you to become a part of our family Family. We are a large special needs family. We have six kids for special needs, as I said. We do a lot of content centered around that, but sometimes we just do family content too. So we would love for you to stay and hang out with us for a little bit. And I hope everyone has themselves a very Merry Christmas and Happy Hanukkah. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas.